Today we can screen and characterize hundreds to thousands of compounds against multiple targets in a single day using BioCore 8K series SPR systems. Despite improvements in throughput, software development hasn't kept up enough to analyze the increasing amounts of data. The bottleneck has shifted from data acquisition to data analysis, which remains a manual, time-consuming process that's influenced by human bias and requires significant expertise and training. Our BioCore Intelligent Analysis software, part of BioCore Insight Evaluation software, enables the rapid and automated analysis of large datasets by significantly reducing the manual, time-consuming steps of data creation and quality control. This optional add-on extension offers support for two analysis types, binding level screen and affinity screen for low molecular weight fragments. BioCore Intelligent Analysis comes with evaluation methods including prediction models pre-trained by Cytiva scientists, providing an out-of-the-box solution for analyzing fragment binding level and affinity screening datasets. From an experimental perspective, nothing changes. You can run your buying level screen and affinity screening experiments just like before. Let's start by looking at the binding level screen functionality, which automatically analyzes and classifies your binding level data using a series of feature sets. In this example, we have opened a binding level screen data file and applied the evaluation method fragment binding level screen using BeerCore Intelligent Analysis. Once the file is open, assess the solvent correction, select apply and close the window to analyze your binding level screen data using the prediction model. Let's go ahead and minimize the left hand pane for now. Click on a data point in the plot to display the corresponding sensorgrams on the right hand side. You may notice some extra dash sensorgrams here. That's because we've included additional visualization tools to help enhance your understanding of the data. This is especially helpful for new users and provides extra information on ideal fragment sensorgram profiles and sensorgrams from the reference flow cell. You can easily toggle these on and off using the chart setting option shown. For more information on these features, refer to the Vehicle Insight Evaluation Software Manual. Look under the sensorgram to find the Classification Manager, which is divided into two sections, the Binder Prediction Classification and Binder Prediction Quality. Classifications are automatically provided for sensorgrams predicted to have low quality so you can understand how the quality prediction was made and trace that prediction back to the underlying sensorgram data. Quality automatically predicts the quality of the interaction, either high, low or uncertain. We provide definitions for the binder prediction classifications in the Vehicle Insight Evaluation Software Users Manual. Look at the plot table under the plot to see some other important information like binder prediction certainty. This is the percentage measure of how confident the model is in the prediction of binder prediction quality. Note the filter symbol in the table. You can use this filter to filter certain columns in the plot table, either binary prediction quality or binary prediction classification, to easily focus on certain classification classes. You can customize the view of the plot table by choosing the columns you want to include. Select the columns option under table settings to make your selection. You can override the model's prediction and replace it with your own interpretation of the data. Simply check or uncheck the relevant boxes for classification and quality.
You can make changes to the prediction by selecting Train New Version. Made a mistake? No problem, you can easily revert to prior models without overwriting any of the models you've previously created. Let's move on to the Affinity Screen functionality. This tool verifies target engagement and automatically provides an estimate of steady state affinities. Here, we have opened an Affinity Screening dataset and applied the evaluation method Fragment Affinity Screen using Vehicle Intelligent Analysis. Notice the prediction model automatically analyzes and assigns data into three acceptance states, accepted, rejected, or uncertain. Uh, assignments are based on a series of feature sets, including quality prediction classification of the data set, a percentage measure of how confident a model is in the prediction, baseline differences, which can indicate residual binding on the surface from one cycle to the next, and the ratio of Rmax to the expected Rmax. Look on the right hand side to find the classifications manager. This contains the quality prediction classifications and the acceptance state. Just like the binding level screen functionality, you can override the prediction classification and acceptance state to replace it with your own interpretations. Just check and uncheck the relevant boxes. In addition to the predictions, the model also automatically excludes deviant and outlier cycles from the affinity analysis. Removing too many cycles can affect the accuracy of your fit. If you remove too many, the model will warn you and reject it. Now, if we look in the right-hand corner to see a plot of the re relative response versus concentration isotherms, this includes two isotherms. The first one is the solid black isotherm, which is a plot of relative response versus concentration with steady state affinity model applied with a fitted Rmax. The solid vertical line denotes the KD determined from the fitted Rmax. The dashed black isotherm is a plot of the relative response versus concentration with steady state affinity model applied with a constant Rmax. The expected Rmax is obtained for each analyte from the response of a control analyte, Rmax control, and the relative molecular weights of a control and sample. The dash vertical line denotes the KD determined from the constant Rmax. If we go back to the table, note the filter symbol in the result table. This lets you filter by the desired quality prediction classification and focus on certain classification classes of interest. You can also customize the view of the result table by choosing the columns you want to include. Just select the column option under table settings to make your selection. Now we'll take a look at a rejected example and hopefully we can all agree why this compound was rejected. Once again, like in the binding level screening functionality, you can train new versions of the model by select train new version to make changes to prediction model. The interface makes it easy to track which version of the model you're using and revert to previous versions as needed. Retraining does not overwrite the existing model. Finally, let's take a look at the model manager. This is where you can manage, track and annotate the prediction models you create.
You can add descriptions to describe the model and use the annotation feature to keep track of different versions of the same model. You can import or export prediction models to share models between groups and collaborators, helping to standardize your analysis, projects and programs. You can also remove models here as needed. Select the Add Prediction button to create a new model. Then you can name it, provide a description and select an existing model to use as a basis for your new model. This can be one of our trained stock models, a blank naive model or a model you've previously trained. Vehicle Intelligent Analysis saves you time. What will you do with the time you get back? Work on more experiments, support more projects, perform more detailed biophysical analysis, or pick up a new hobby.